Man. Fat Tuesday for everybody, so enjoy. We're looking at uh, 57 degrees, a little cooler, a little drier than it was yesterday at this time, and just a few leftover clouds before everything sort of blows away. Our winds have not shifted yet, so it's still on the mild side. In fact, it's going to be rather warm today, up to about 80. So yeah, yesterday we were at 83. Today we'll get up to about 82, somewhere around there. So still on the hot side for your Tuesday. Tonight, right after sundown, is when the winds will turn to the north and then the big chill starts. Right now, the temperatures, as you can see, for us uh, near 60 degrees, but it's in the 30s and 40s up north, a 20 degree drop. That's going to be visiting us, and then that north wind will really be blowing for the next couple of days. So it's going to be rather windy and quite chilly. Now you're thinking, oh, come on, really? Can it be like that? Yes, it just looks like it to me. Now, as I mentioned, right now the winds are fairly calm. They'll be turning around about sundown tonight, definitely out of the northeast and north, and it'll be rather breezy, probably in the 25 mile an hour rain. So next couple of days are going to have small craft advisories and a lot of wind out there. In addition to the wind, the dry and the colder, well, we're concerned about fire danger because everything is so dry out there. Now you can see right about here how the cloud deck is just beginning to thin or uh, just north of San Antonio. So it's all just about three rivers by now and that'll be coming through this morning. So skies will be clearing a lot of sunshine for today to be outdoors. But as I mentioned, the uh, small craft advisories are already up. In fact, gale warning up for the outer waters of uh, the Mariners. You should probably know that by now. Uh, it's going to be very windy beginning tonight into tomorrow and probably all the to almost Friday. In addition to that, uh, the areas uh, south of us uh, down toward deep south Texas and valley are looking at a fire uh, danger because of the high winds and the low humidity. So big concern down there in ranch country. If uh, you're outdoors, uh, anything that looks like an open flame, you just want to avoid because it can get away from us pretty quick. So just north of San Antonio is where the winds have shifted. That shift is going to be here around sundown tonight. And then tomorrow, everything is different. It's going to be really cold. We've got double barrel lows. This one pulling the front and this one also deepening the depth of the north wind that's going to be pushing through our region. And then we get into a relatively dry period, which is sort of not good news. I mean, I, I, some people need sun, I understand. Uh, a lot of people need a little bit of moisture. So here's our front just north of uh, San Antonio. It'll be coming down through our area about sundown. You'll definitely feel it. It'll be quite breezy tonight and turning colder. In fact, you'll probably, yeah, probably turn the furnace on for tomorrow morning. <laughs> and then it's just going to stay on the chilly side. When I say chilly or cold, I'm talking a high tomorrow of only about 59, maybe 60 degrees. That puts the entire day in the 50s and, of course, with that north wind. So we go from warm too cold in a matter of 24 hours, 59 tomorrow's high. And then the big question is Thursday. I'm thinking 36 in the city. That's your seven day forecast. Mike, over to you.